We already know that alkenes can undergo addition reactions. A special type of addition reaction is known as hydration. So if we take ethene and we add on water, we will break the carbon to carbon double bonds. A hydrogen would add to one carbon and the hydroxyl, the OH, will add to the other carbon. This means that this is now saturated, it has carbon to carbon single bonds and this is our corresponding alcohol. The name of this alcohol is known as ethanol. If we were to change this into the molecular formula, we would have C2H4 plus H2O goes to C2H5OH. Alkenes plus water react to produce alcohols. When we increase the carbon chain length of an alkene, we know that the position of the carbon to carbon double bond can change. Let's have a look at when we use but one ene We can see that the carbon to carbon double bond is in position one. When we add a molecule of water, that carbon to carbon double bond will break and an H will add on to one and an OH will add on to the other. The product produced here we want to focus on the OH and the position of that functional group. So the name of the product would be butan-1-ol. However, if the H and the OH were to swap places, this means that the OH, which is our functional group, would now be on position 2. This would give us the alcohol known as butan-2-ol. We can see that they both have the, the same number of carbons, hydrogens and oxygens. So this means that we will form isomers. If we were to take but 2 in this time, this is where the carbon to carbon double bond is on the middle carbons on position 2. And we were to add a molecule of water. No matter which way we draw the product, the name of the alcohol produced will always be butan 2 all. So this time we do not produce any isomers. If the alkene undergoing the addition reaction has an even number of carbons, 2, 4, 6, etc., and the carbon to carbon double bond is halfway between the even number of carbon atoms, no isomers will be formed. Let's have a go at doing the addition of hydrogen halides. This is when we have a hydrogen which is directly bonded to a group 7 element. So if we have ethene and we add on hydrogen bromide, the carbon to carbon double bond will break and a hydrogen would add to one carbon and the bromine would add to another. This would give us a molecule which would be known as 1-bromoethane. If we were to write the molecular formula for this, we would have C2H4 plus HBr goes to C2H5Br. Alkenes can react with hydrogen halides to form monohaloalkenes. When we add hydrogen chloride, a hydrogen will add to one of the carbons and the chlorine will add to the other. The name of this compound would be 1-chlorobutane. However, if they swapped positions and the hydrogen added to the other carbon, and the chloride swapped, this would now be called 2-chlorobutane. This will form isomers. If we were to change the position of the carbon to carbon double bond and use but2-ene and add on hydrogen fluoride, a hydrogen would add on to one of the carbons and a fluorine would add on to the other. The name of this would be 2-fluorobutane. If we swap them round, we're only looking at the position of the fluorine and we can see that that will still be in position 2, so the name would still be 2-fluorobutane. This means that no isomers are formed. So if you want to pause the video, you can have a go at naming and drawing the full structural formula for the examples given. And when you're ready, press resume and the answers will pop up in the screen. <laughs> This 
past paper questions from the National 5 2018 Multiple Choice 12. Which of the following reactions takes place when an alcohol is formed from an alkene? Alkenes undergo addition reactions and when we add on water we form alcohols. So the name of this process is known as hydration. Multiple choice answer C. This past paper question is from the National 5 2019 Multiple Choice 15. When pent one ene undergoes addition reaction with water, two products are formed. Which of the following alkenes will also produce two products when it undergoes an addition reaction with water? If the alkene undergoing the addition reaction has an even number of carbons, two, four, six, etc., and the carbon to carbon double bond is halfway between the even number of carbon atoms, no isomers will be formed. The correct answer to this multiple choice answer is multiple choice answer A, as oct has eight carbons, and if it was to form no isomers, it would have to be in position four, but it's not, which means it will form isomers. Hex is six, halfway is three, but is four, halfway is two, eth is two, and can only be in position one, which means B, C and D will not form isomers, which means A is correct.